we finally found what we're looking for in 2021 shareholders annual meeting of Berkshire Hathaway with the legendary Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. The Yahoo broadcast is over five and a half hours long, but this video is just going to cover the clip relates to inflation. One of the most anticipated questions Many people wanted to know what Buffett and Charlie had to say. Here for your viewing pleasure, is inflation a concern and should we be worried about it? A question of the decade is answered by the 90-year-old Mr. Buffett. I will ask this question from Chris Freed from Philadelphia and whoever wants to take this on stage. From raw material purchases by Berkshire subsidiaries, are you seeing signs of inflation beginning to increase? Let me answer that. Greg can get more. We're seeing very substantial inflation. It's very interesting. I mean, it, it, we're raising prices. People are raising prices to us. Uh, and it's being accepted. I mean, it's not... Uh, if we get... Well, you know, take home building. I mean, uh, you know, the cost of... We've got nine home builders and, uh, in addition to our manufactured housing thing. And then... Uh, operation, which is the largest in the country. So we really do a lot of housing. <laughs> the costs are just up, up, up. As you can see, Buffett is acutely aware of the pricing challenges that his various businesses face, particularly his own home builder, Clayton Homes, which will be the largest framing in the country by 2021. If you didn't know, the cost of lumber accounts for roughly 20% of a home's pricing is mostly determined by it. If you look at the trend of lumber pricing, you can see why Buffett is concerned. The price has risen at an exponential rate, from roughly $785 per 1,000 board feet to $1,500 in less than a year, according to NAHB data. Last year's price increase alone added $36,000 to the cost of a new single-family house. Due to excessive prices that are increasing by the day, some home builders are even delaying production despite high demand. Single family starts were up 41% year over year in March, but builders are clearly having trouble adding to the supply. In a recent CNBC interview, Taylor Morrison CEO Cheryl Palmer was cited as stating this. We have seen over the last four or five months what I have never seen in my career before. Lumber has entered uncharted territory, with significant pricing pressures evident not only in housing but also in other industries, steels, and other goods. Listen to Buffett continue his analysis. Steel costs, uh, you know, just every day, uh, they're, they're going up. and. That, it, there, there hasn't yet been because the wage, the wage stuff follows. I mean, if the, the UAW writes a three-year contract, you got a three-year contract. But if you're buying steel at General Motors uh, or someplace, you're paying more every day. Uh, so uh, it's it's an economy really. Uh, it's red hot. I mean, and we weren't expecting it. I mean, uh, all our companies, when they th they thought when when they were allowed to go back to work, you know, at at uh, uh, our various operations, they w we closed the furniture stores. I mentioned, you know, they were closed for six weeks or so on average, and they didn't know what was going to happen when they when they opened. Up. And you know, they they can't stop people from buying things. And we can't deliver them. And they say, well, that's okay. because Nobody else can deliver them either. And we'll wait for three months or something. Of the sort. But the backlog grows. And then we thought it would end when the $600 payments ended. And I think, you know, around August of last year. It just kept going. And it, it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going. And I get the figures every week I call. Or a bump calls me and we go over day by day what happened at three different stores in Chicago and Kansas City and Dallas. And... and it just won't stop. Uh, people have money in their pocket, and and they pay the higher prices. And and when carpet prices go up in a month or two, you know, we announced a price increase for April. For our costs are going up. 
supply chains is all screwed up you know, for all kinds of people. But it's, a buy, it's almost a buying frenzy, except certain areas you can't buy it. You, you know, you really can't buy international air travel. And there's, uh, so the money is being diverted from a little, from a piece of the economy into the rest, and everybody's got more cash. Steel prices have risen at an exponential rate similar to lumber prices. In April of last year, a ton of steel rebar cost around $3,500, but now it costs $5,400, a 54% increase in only one year. And if we go back to 2016, the same ton cost $1,600, or roughly three times less than the price we see week after week nowadays. These price spikes are producing major issues for businesses all over the world, which, as Buffett points out, are being passed on to consumers, who are ready to pay a premium and even wait months for things to arrive. Indeed, if you look throughout the world, the cost of the raw materials that go into almost everything is rising. Raw resources of all kinds are soaring, and the trend appears to be continuing as the global economy roars back to life. Steel and copper, as well as grain and lumber commodities, kicked off 2021 with a bang. The rally has risen to heights not seen in years, threatening to hike the cost of products. From the lunchtime sandwich to gleaming skyscrapers, is this the start of a calamity in terms of inflation? This is something Buffett continues to do. It, it is not a price-sensitive economy right now in the least. And uh, I don't know exactly how when it shows up in different price indices, but there's, there's more inflation going on than quite a bit more inflation going on than people would have anticipated just six months ago or thereabouts. Yeah, and there's one very intelligent man who thinks it's dangerous. And that's just the start. Greg, you probably are in a good position. To come. Yeah, well, when I think you touched on it, I mean, when we look at steel prices, timber prices, any petroleum input, you know, fundamentally there's pressure on those uh, raw materials. I do think something you've touched on, Warren, and it, it, it goes really back to the raw materials. There's a scarcity of product right now of certain raw materials. It's impacting price and the ability to deliver the end product. But, you know, that scarcity factor is is also real out there right now as, as our businesses address that challenge. And it may be the some of that's contributed or uh, arisen from the uh, storm we previously discussed in Texas. When you take down that many petrochemical plants in one state that the rest of the country is very dependent upon it, we're seeing it flow through both on price but overall in scarcity of product, which obviously go together. But... Uh, there, there's there's challenges, that's for sure. Monger uses the word to characterize what's going on out there. And he lets future CEO Greg Apple finish the topic by addressing the possibilities and reasons for these pricing points, as well as their acceptance. While Apple provides a possible source for these price increases, Monger's delivery is critical in obtaining a true picture of what Berkshire believes is going on in the economy's underbelly. Abel takes the Fed side of the story, claiming that manpower has risen following the pandemic, supply has been constrained, and the current inflation is just transitory. This is what the Fed refers to as transitory inflation or base effects, which are basically price increases that will end one economies in the United States and across the world stabilize. Consumer expectations are met, and factories are able to meet them. However, there is another perspective on this answer, which begins with Buffett's initial reaction to the question. He doesn't appear to be convinced that these effects are only momentary. If, for example, property prices begin to climb month after month, you can see how human psychology plays a role in inflation. When an increasing number of people begin to think, because this is a part of a well-known pattern of price spikes, so people hurry to buy houses supporting the loop. 
this situation can become quite serious if prices rise so quickly that people lose faith in the currency, as we all believe the United States is immune to hyperinflation. That's not to say Buffett believes the United States is about to implode. Clearly, if you listen to the full meeting, he's actually quite positive about the United States in the long run. But some of his responses indicate that he's not so optimistic in the short term. He appears to be hinting at an interest rate hike. The Fed will need to do something major to relieve these pressures, and an early interest rate hike would be the best option. A response that will cause the markets to respond badly, causing stock prices to fall and possibly precipitating a major correction. Thank you for watching and as usual, if you loved it, please hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video.